Sof, Sof means wise, wisdom. Sophia, Sophie. When you hear these names, that means the girl is a wise person. Sophia is a wise person. A wise person. Sophie is a wise person. Sophistry. Sophistry argument is a very clever argument. It's kind of deceptive argument also. Sophistry. Sophists. So sophists were earlier philosophers. They used to roam across and teach for a fee. These were wise philosophers. Philosophers. Sophisticated. Sophisticated is having a thorough knowledge of the society. Very complex, much more developed. That is, people with higher wisdom. Sophomoric, sophomoric, sopho plus moric. Moric is from Moran. Moran is an idiot. Sopho, sopho is wisdom. He is a wise idiot. What does that mean? This means, this is generally used for college students. They are called sophomores who are in their second year second year of engineering let's say because they think they know at this end because they have studied two years of engineering they think they know they think they are wisdom but in reality they have to know much more they are actually idiots they are actually fools that's why so far more the word was created that way nowadays it is being referred to all the college students first year second year college students but the word has got both the roots wise and foolish foolishness and wiseness understood right so for more it means someone who is overly impressed with their own knowledge but in reality they are under educated or immature this is referred to college students of first year or second year where they go they have got introduced to lot of new topics and subjects they start feeling that they are experts in those subjects but in reality they are just beginners theosophy theo is god sophy is wisdom wisdom related to god it is set of teachings about god especially the teachings based on buddhism and hinduism philosophy theosophical society this was started in 1875 1875 theosophical theosophical society blavatsky's helena blavatsky she created in 1875 this you would have read in history as well fort fort means to carry porter who is a porter porter is the one who carries in a railway station let's say portable portable means that can be carried very easily portable luggage portable handbag etc portes portes is he is carrying of boats or goods over land from one body of water to another 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 body in fact port is the place where this carrying carrying of goods happen right portfolio portfolio nowadays it refers to the set of stocks that you hold but how is it related to carry because in earlier days this set of stocks are are were used to be sheets instead of this digital copies they used to be sheets and the port- portfolio manager used to carry all these sheets all these documents so that's how it has become portfolio folio means leaves or sheets port carry leaves or carry sheets so this portfolio managers used to carry all the sheets in their own box that's how it has become portfolio nowadays it has it is digital there is nothing carrying here comport comport here this carrying is actually carrying yourself behaving yourself in public how do you carry yourself in front of others that is the carrying comport means to be in agreement with you carry well with others and be in agreement so this has come to the meaning of behaving as well as 
agree. A person comported well in a wedding reception. That means the parent person carried himself very well. An ambassador should always comport himself or herself. They have to behave in a dignified manner, that is comport. Similarly, deportment. Deportment is also the same thing. Manner of conducting oneself in a society or socially at social events. Deportment, the way you walk, the way you talk especially in a social event that is deportment earlier in earlier days there used to be classes also there used to be classes on for girls on how to behave in colleges on how to behave in events etc how to sit how to talk how to stand how to walk etc that is deportment that is again carrying yourself pen pen means hang hanging what is pending pending is something that is left hanging it is left it is still to still it has to be addressed that is pending pendant gold pendant it hangs over your neck pend it hangs over your neck. it this is the small ornament that hand that hangs that's why it is pendant appendix appendix is the is a secondary body part Appendix. It is something that is added to a larger or more important body part. Appendix of her husband. She always felt that she is an appendix of her husband. That means she is just hanging with her husband, or she is just like an attachment for her husband, for her husband. Her, her, her husband is just taking her as an attachment only while he is going to his business partners. Similarly, appendix. Append. Append means we attach something extra. Earlier it used to, it is the, the belief was what you attach as an extra is not so useful. So it is just something that you are hanging. But nowadays, Attached nowadays, it is the usage is, is uh, has moved everywhere. But earlier, attach append means to add something extra. Suspend. Suspend is something you have left it hanging in between. Right. You still have to address. Suspend like pending. Pan. Pan means all. Pantheon. Who is a pantheon? Pantheon is a temple dedicated to all the gods of a religion. That is Pantheon. Theo, we had discussed earlier. Theo is related to God, Theosophical Society. Just now we had discussed. Pantheon. So all Theos, all Gods. Temple related to all Gods. Pandemic. Pan is all. Endemic. What is endemic? Endemic is something, a disease that is there at a local place. A regional disease. Endemic, not endemic disease is something that is prevalent in a particular area. Pandemic, pandemic means it is present in all areas. When they declared COVID as pandemic, that means COVID has has spread to all regions. It's no more endemic. Endemic means some specific region. Endemic. Endemic organism means the organism is available only at that place. This pandemic, panacea, pan means all. Panacea is is a medicine that will treat all ailments. A remedy for all difficulties. It's like elixir of life. It will give eternal life, all healing. It will heal. Panacea was the goddess of healing. In 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 Greek, there is no panacea for the current problems. 
current microeconomic problems. That means there is a single solution for all the problems. Pandemonium. Pandemonium means wild uproar. Loud noise. Pandemonium erupted in the stadium. After the batsman hit a six. That means all over the stadium there is loud noise. Loud cheats. Pantheism. Pantheism. Here it includes pan and the. It is related to something to God. Pantheism is the belief that regards God as identical with nature. That is pantheism. Panoply. Panoply. Pan. All. All. So it is. Panoply is the full armor. Full armor. When and earlier in the earlier days. Greek soldiers used to be regarded very highly. In, in fact, you will see in lot of movies also referring to people as Greek soldiers, Greek heroes. Now, these Greek heroes or Greek soldiers, the armor they used to wear used to be very very impressive. It used to be very complete. Panoply, panoply refers to this kind of armor that is full armor that is worn. right from top to bottom that is the complete armor that was worn full suit of armor panoply it has it is come from greek panoply panoplia etc extra extra means all of us know extra is outside it came from latin extravagant extravaganza is going beyond way beyond the normal extraordinary extraordinary is much beyond the ordinary it is outside ordinary extradition extradite a criminal that means the country is sending the criminal outside extradite to the to the other country that is extradition extrapolate you have certain values you want to extend those values to other values that is extrapolation extrapolation of data you have the sales numbers for the last 6 months we want to project the sales months sales numbers for the next 6 months that is extrapolation last 6 months whatever was the trend you estimate the next 6 months trend with those previous 6 months data that is extrapolation extrovert is he is very comfortable with outside he is turned outwards who is an introvert he is turned in, inwards introverts are find very diff, find it very difficult in conversing with people with whom they don't know while extroverts are very comfortable they they are they are turned out outwards okay psychologists Psychologists believe that these personality traits, extroverts or introverts, they can be identified as soon as the children are born. Even newborn infants also, people can identify whether that person will grow up into an extrovert or an introvert. This is this kind of behavior. People, whether the the newborn is shy of people or they are not shy of people, introversion and extroversion. this remains constant throughout the life so psychologists have identified that this behavior extroversion or introversion can be ident- can be identified as early as in newborns also extraneous extraneous means something coming from outside extraneous topics means these are external topics not the relevant topics extramarital that is beyond the marriage extramarital affair affair with someone else beyond the marriage good let's learn few more words in the next video